Welcome back to my channel. I want to thank everyone for uh, supporting me over the last year, year and a bit, actually. Um, I do appreciate all of those uh, people who have given me the thumbs up and who have subscribed. I hope people continue to do that and that you uh, watch the following video. I have a special announcement on that. did you want to get into filming your fish and backyard on YouTube? Well, I've been watching YouTube probably since January of last year, and I started following a couple people and that were doing some gardening, mainly for self-reliance purposes and to grow their own. I was also watching stuff on ponds because I've always been interested in ponds and fish tanks. So months later, it's actually the kids, our kids, that uh, kind of pushed me to start my own YouTube, uh, being they figured I needed to be more socially interactive. Uh, with COVID being uh, going on and me being retired, I just wasn't uh, getting out there and talking to people that where I should be. I was kind of be becoming more of a hermit. That wasn't really good for uh, my mental health, so they pushed me uh, to do YouTube, and I've since joined. Uh, I've met a lot of really nice people uh, that have helped me. I'm enjoying it, uh, meeting like-minded people, learning stuff uh, in the hobby that I didn't know, and I'm helping other people as well. That. Uh, it's kind of one big family, and we're all there to help each other. So I'm really enjoying that aspect. Now, I know you're a goal-oriented person. So what are your goals that you set for yourself, and did you achieve your goals this year? Well, I, I set a goal of 1,000 subscribers, and it wasn't to monetize uh, necessarily. It was... It was more of a milestone to hit. Uh, I want, I wanted to, to be out there, and I guess to be known a little bit more in the community, so you're interacting with more people uh, that are doing similar things that you are. Um, I also wouldn't be totally upset if uh, a company uh, that produced fish food or pumps uh, started following me on my channel and uh, asked me to be a spokesperson for their product. I would like that. Uh, that would be great for me. But 
I guess that was my goal, hitting the 1,000 and, you know, to being noticed by a, a company. I didn't hit either one of those goals. Uh, I only got around 600 subscribers uh, from in that one year of joining. So I guess I did okay, but uh, I could have done better. I think you've done great, and I think you should continue what you're doing and make a new goal uh, for subscribers for the next year. Well, on that note, fine. You've always uh, been behind me and kind of pushed me to do better. So let's say 1.5 thousand subscribers by this time next year. All right, we got it on video, so get busy. <laughs> well, please. <laughs> if you like what you see, subscribe. So, of all the fish that you have, all the different kinds, do you have one favorite fish? Um, I probably do have one or two of the koi that are my favorite. Uh, I don't name them. See, about 10, 12 years ago, I had some really nice Japanese koi, and I'd had them for seven, eight years, and they were big, beautiful koi. Uh, we had a really weird winter, and I used to run my pumps throughout the season, and the water got diverted, and I didn't know, so I lost about a foot and a half, two feet of water. But the ice and the snow stayed up, so I had no idea. And then when the... So the water got diverted, but I had no idea. And the, the water actually dropped about two feet. And again, I had no idea that had happened. So in the springtime, when the ice uh, began to melt, I noticed that the pond uh, basically had caved in. Uh, and to my chagrin, almost all my koi were dead or dying. And within a day, they were all dead. See, they've been sitting in about a foot of water. And it just got super cold in between the ice level and the water and it super chilled them. So from then on, I've never run the pumps during the winter. That's so sad. Yeah. So after that, I kept uh, Chibumpkins for the longest time. And that's how I got really into those and did quite well breeding them and selling them off. And I really got the itch to get koi back. So I, I haven't gone back to uh, Japanese koi, I've gone to domestic. And so some of you may or may not know, I help out or I helped out the Vandermeers uh, with a culling. And as a thank you, I got to pick out some of the domestic uh, small koi that I've raised up. And all the koi that I have are all from the same spot. I don't have a problem with trick or costia or gill flukes, so I'm really careful about introducing anything else to the pond for fear of uh, them getting sick. Anyways, what koi I have, again, are domestic. I think they're pretty good. I'm going to be changing a few of them uh, next year, and I'm hoping uh, to make this one a little bit deeper next year as well. Uh, with any luck. So in answer to your question, a little bit long-winded, I do have one or two favorite fish. I don't name them. I didn't reach my goals. I set some new goals. I'm enjoying uh, YouTube. I've met some excellent people out there that have been very kind and helpful and understanding. So, stick with me guys. Uh, I hope to grow the channel. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying uh, doing it for you guys and for my family. 
all the best, everyone, and we'll see you real soon. Well, I'm proud of you, dear. I just want to tell you that. Um, you have stepped out of your comfort zone, and I think YouTube has been a good thing for you. So congratulations, and good luck next year in growing your followers. Love well, you. I have the best wife. Love you. Love you. Stay tuned for some interesting video footage and some bloopers as well. Now she's playing Charlie. Oh, Marley. Look this way. Focus. You have to guard against herons. You got it? Not if you understand. Okay, look the other way then. My husband in the water with his fish. Huh. You can take the country out of the boy, but you can't take the boy out of the country. Or is that the other way around? I think you had it right. <laughs> well, it's September now, and this will probably be the last time I get in with the fish. There's a bit of cleaning to do, but it's nice to interact with them and enjoy what we have left for the summer before it's winter time and. Uh, I'm back inside uh, with, uh, I guess, my uh, aquariums. Well, take care, everyone. Don't forget to hit that like button and uh, to subscribe. It's really important to me. Uh, and take care, everyone. Bye for now. Not only does he clean the ponds, but sometimes it's necessary to get in to cool down. It's 100 degrees out. Have to go swimming. We don't have a pool. We don't have a cottage. And the fish over there hiding hi they're over here nibbling yes. at me before <laughs> were they yeah. oh here they come yeah that's fishy, not a good fishy, one guys <laughs> <laughs> oh there they are now that i stirred up the bottom <laughs> <laughs>